Okay, back on the ADU. We have a, the first course of cedar shakes on two sides. We have the first course on the back, which is all hardy board. We're gonna do the next course of cedar around the bottom here, then work our way up. You see we have our belly bands all in. First step, Charles is caulking the edge. I'm gonna run the string line. So laser levels are nice, but you know what? You can do everything still with a string line, the old fashioned way. Okay, now we're moving on the, you can see we have a little shade right here. We're gonna work on the front until the sun comes around, then move around the back and the sides. But Charles has got the air nailer going now, so things are moving much faster. Oh yeah, that's more better. Okay, good morning. It is about eight o'clock in the morning here on October 17th, so. You know, it's been 80, 81 degrees here lately. It's supposed to cool down today and be about 65, so that'll be a nice break. So let's just take a look at where we are on this little project on the siding here. So you can see Charles and I got most of the siding on this little section here. We have our bottom row all doubled up and everything looks like it's turning out really nicely. So I'm gonna get this last little trim piece that goes on the top here, finish up that the other end there, and then start the hardy board that goes up above. Charles is gonna wrap up this side, but we're probably gonna work on the far side this morning. We're working on that side in the morning when the sun is over, over here, coming back over here and working on that when the sun is over there. So I'm gonna get busy on that. So today's also a big day out in the front. We have the um, water district coming out to put our new meter in. So that's a big deal. Once we get that, um, we've already had our inspection for the water line, it's all buried. They just have to put in a new meter and we have to hook up the main at the street. So that's a big deal on this project. Looking forward to that today. Okay, we are in the shop here to do the little horizontal pieces for, to finish off the cedar siding. So we're gonna do a trim piece, it's kind of wide. It's actually two inches wide, but that makes us keep the five inch exposure on what's on the house. So we're just doing, it's just basically a little teeny shingle wedge. Looks like a little wedge that we're gonna do up along that top edge and trim that off. And I went and bought a nice, the nicest piece of cedar I could find over at Home Depot and milled that down. I'm just gonna leave the saw marks because this is kind of looks supposedly a little rough. <clears throat> I'm gonna mill these down right now. Okay, so I got some of this clear quad max we're using here. I've got enough schmoo underneath it where it's just kind of holding itself up and you can see my little angle now it tips up under there so now the water can run off onto this one and run down we're just going to tack that up with some little finish nails
So this is where we finished up today on the siding. So we got the front shakes pretty well all done. So over here, you know, we ruined a couple blades, just sacrificial, cutting some of that hardy on the back. So I went and bought a real hardy blade for the chop saw and one for my skill saw, and that's how we're going to be doing this. And I bought some nice bimetal blades here for the jigsaw. So we have the right stuff now to start cutting this hardy and, and being efficient about it. So I'm going to get started changing these blades and fitting a couple of those pieces. That was pretty good. If I get that out of all these, I'm happy. Well, first step this morning, I'm gonna move all this scaffolding along this side so we can continue up that wall. Okay, we're back on this gable end this morning. You can see we have a rainy, wet day here in the Great North Woods. So we got a little system here. Charles is calling numbers out, and I'm doing the cutting. He's nailing and calling numbers out. So not much to see here. I think I'll just put it on fast motion and let this fly. Okay, well we are back on the little house project for a little while here. It's Saturday, we finished the floor this week. So let's just take a look around where we are here. So we are finishing up the siding up on this gabled end right here. We're gonna try to get this painted in in the next week or so. Hopefully if the weather holds out, it's been raining a lot. So our little system is, Charles is just shooting down measurements to me. I'm handing up, up to him and he is nailing them on. So we're gonna finish this gable down. I think I've already shown you. The back is done, the other side is done. Then we're gonna move around and do the front. I'm sure you've seen this and some other things. This thing's been around, taking a licking, keeps on ticking. Hold my breath. I always hold my breath while I'm cutting that and breathe when I get away from it. So that's how we're doing. Well, it looks like we got the last couple of pieces going in. Charles is on the ladder, on the scaffold. Okay, this side is all done. Charles is just finishing up a little caulking around the door. Then this side is all caulked in, sided. We're gonna move around the front and finish this up tomorrow. Hey everybody, we are back on this little ADU project here. We got held up doing a bunch of other stuff and I haven't been filming regularly. So um, let's just take a look around at where we're at. I'm not sure if I got any of the painting, but you know, we got two sides of it painted. So the siding's all on. We got a couple of coats on this. We'll do one more coat in the spring, but we got bit by some really nasty weather. Today's a nice sunny day. So we kind of unveiled everything just to let it dry out. So you can see we have two coats. You see the color, Charles picked that green and I kind of like it. The nice shakes and so we don't have the trim painted yet. It's gonna all be white trim. So that's where we are on the outside and we're really not gonna go much further on this until next spring on the outside. But on the inside, let's take a look around. So in here, you can see we have all the can lights hanging and they are wired up. Um, we have just temporary power to all those. So we have some temporary power in here. Um, we have the whole crew working today. So we have Stephanie over there caulking up the bird blocks on the inside just so no vermin or uh, rodents can get in here. 
Charles is up there working on the wiring. And there's Steffi over there. Say hello, Steffi. Hi. Stephanie's on the crew now. She's helping us out. <laughs> so what I'm doing is um, I'm redoing this. I'm redoing this drain over here um, where we did the siding and the siding nails stuck through. They poked through the drain. So I'm redoing that and reconfiguring it a little bit, making it a little bit better. That's what I'm working on right this minute, but what I have been working on, as you can see, I have my little plumbing kit, little plumbing kit out. So that lead right there is for the fire suppression. Here's my cold. I have my spigot outside and I bring it up high. I like to, I like my outside spigots or hose bib. I like them high instead of getting on my hands and knees to put them on. So, and there's my main run of plumbing and it's gonna run over to the hot water heater here with the expansion tank on top. So that's kind of what I've been working on and I'll get together and show you a little. You can see we're doing all this with schedule L copper tubing, which is pretty much the best stuff you can get. I'm not really a PEX guy. I don't know how to do it very well, but I do know how to do this a little bit. So that's what we're working on. So that's where we are right now. A little update on the project.